Good evening. Hello. Uh, good evening to everyone. Hello. Teacher, don't hear you. Teacher, close microphone. I don't know what happened. So guys, what I was saying is that today we have a presentation. Uh, it's not evaluated. So anyways, it will help us to increase our fluency, but that, it, that will be later on guys, okay? So besides that, veo el, el Zoom algo cambiado. Quizás es un update or something. So anyways, guys, uh, welcome here. Welcome to the class number four. And today we have that presentation. We will continue with yesterday's topic, guys. So there are a lot of things that we will be learning today. I want to know, how was your day today? Lorena, how was your day today? How was it? I, well, today, was a great day. <laughs> I I was no. I um, went to my my work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 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 the end they go to my my house and get uh, eat into my my dinner and now in class in english class okay what did you eat for dinner uh, eggs beans and uh, bread okay excellent so eggs beans so it's the same that i'm going to eat later on good excellent Excellent. Marco, how about your day? How was your day today? Okay, uh, today was very tired. Yes, because uh, during all today, during all day, I working uh, in the home office model because uh, in the morning I had a compromise uh, on, on and yesterday, uh, talk, uh, uh, talk my chief that it's possible that today uh, I work in, in home office mode. Yes, yes, my my chief uh, is approved this my petition and and I work in <laughs> in my house all day. Yes. Okay. Good, excellent. Uh, don't say compromise. You had something to do. I had something to do. Okay, so good, excellent. Home office. That's really good. I would like to be working there, but I can't anyways. Just at night. So good, excellent. Uh, let's see. Brenda, how was your day today? I go to the work. I take my breakfast. Uh, I check my email. Take the lunch. And I go to the house and take my dinner. Okay. What do you have for dinner? What did you eat? 
I eat a hamburger. Hamburgers. Did you prepare them? Burger King, McDonald's? No. Um, I... Comprar, pero I, en la calle. <laughs> I bought them on the street. I bought them... I, I, I bought them in up the street. Okay, good, excellent, great people. Later on, we are going to be talking about the pass. So still, we have some little mistakes with the Virgin Pass, guys. Don't worry. Right now, it's not time to correct. No yet. Uh, so don't worry about it, guys. But today people we are going to be well um, one specific topic that is really important so that's what we are going to be working on uh, let's see guys Today we will do that. So guys, let's see, people, the question that I have for everybody right now, the ones that just access as well. Um, people, what do you think or well, the question that I have is this. If you have to describe your job, if you have to describe your job, what, in only one word, only one word, what word would you use, okay? Uh, if you ask me, what word can I use to describe my job? is self-teaching. Why? Because I learn a lot of things. When I teach English, I still learn things. So I am learning. So no, no, self-teaching, no. Uh, I would say a learning process, probably. Or I could say interesting, that's better. The word would be interesting. For me, it's really interesting. What about your job? If you have to describe it, David Munoz, how would you describe your job? I, Only one word, one word. Interesting, interesting job. What, what do you say, sorry? Interesante. Interesting. You would say yeah. interesting. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Good. Victor, how about you? What word would you use yeah. to describe your word? Uh, my, job, my job is hard. Hard. Okay. Good. Laura, how about you? What word would you use to describe your job? Yeah. Interesting and um, um, entertaining. How, uh -huh. How would you describe it? Um, I I share the different person and different nationality. Um, um, a lot of people. Okay, those are the things you do. But if you have to describe it, si lo tuviese que describir in one word, what word would you use? ¿Qué palabra me diría? How would you describe Interesting. it? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, good. Uh, let's see, Maria Jose, what about you? What word would you use to describe your job? Technology. Technology. Okay. Very About technological problem. Uh-huh. 
my swimming semiconductor. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, let's see, Laura, how about you? What word would you use? Sorry. Can you repeat? If you have to describe. Ah, no, no, sorry, sorry. Laura, ya le pregunté. Lorena, what word would you use? Um, amazing. Amazing. Good. Yeah. Excellent. And let's see. Tatiana, go ahead. Competitive. Competitive. I like that one. That word is really good. Competitive. Okay, good. I take it. Uh, David Eliseo, if you have to describe your job, what word would you use? To improve pronunciation? No, no. I'm talking about your job, your work, the place you work in. Describe, Sorry. give me a description in only one word. Sorry, me voy conectando. No, no. Don't worry, I know, I know. So, we are describing our companies, our works. Some people say that is competitive. Other people that is interesting, amazing, difficult, hard, they said. Okay? I said... How do you say pro problematic? Or problematic. 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 Okay. Why problematic? Uh, because I am a, I am a Dex health support. Okay. Uh, entonces, the people uh, call me with uh, have a problem. Mm -hmm. Every day, I have to say resolver. How do you say what, sorry? Resolver. Resolve. Every day I resolve the problem, the people. You resolve problems people usually have. Okay. I want to listen to Tatiana. You said competitive. Why, Tatiana? Because uh, we, we, uh, Innovate. 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 And. We. 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 I have the inventing or I have make offer. Uh, okay. On? Okay. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah. So, it sounds a competitive market, right? Lorena, you said amazing. Why? Um, in my case, in my case, a particular case, um, my company every day, um, I'm learning uh, a new thing, for example. Okay, what? Well, no, no, that's okay. You learn new things. Okay, yes. people, that's what we are going to talk today. We are going to talk about core values, core values. Let me see on the chat, core values of our jobs, okay? What can we say? What are some characteristics of our different jobs, okay? So let's do something right now, people, let's... Give me just a second.
we are going to work on vocabulary. But first, let's go right now with this one, guys. Another conversation here. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? What is the core value? What is the meaning of core value, guys? For example, um, you remember yesterday, right? We saw the mission of some companies. <clears throat> so the core value is what are the values? What are they? the adjectives, what are the little things that we can describe from the company, okay? For example, if you ask me, what are the core values of speak? We would say respect. We have respect for all the students. Also, excellence. We try to provide the best education possible. And efficiency. Well, we try to give you the best things or the best uh tools that you can use okay so those are the things that i can tell you okay what about your companies you can tell me later so the core values did you receive the newsletter this is an email newsletter is an email did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company i did it is a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. Like for example, David. David works in a customer care department. There are things that he needs to show all the time. For example, it doesn't matter if the customer is angry. He needs to be respectful. It doesn't matter if the customer, uh, I don't know, the customer wants something that is impossible. He needs to be acknowledgeable. That means, yes, sir, I can definitely help you. I can give you the best assistance like that, okay? So it should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. We don't put in practice okay apply we don't apply them exactly exactly Clay. exactly we should leave the values that make us different from other companies guys questions about vocabulary here customer service guys what is the meaning of customer service service al cliente. Great. Excellent. Value. What is the meaning of value? Valor. Valores. Yeah. Like respect. No money, right? Respect in this, well, in this, in this context, no. Respect, uh, honesty, all word to, all word to identify the philosophy. Okay. Of the, of exactly, the, sir. That's what we are yes, talking about. Company. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, newsletter, we said that is an email. The ones that you receive in your email that you don't like. Like, for example, I don't know, you are, you sign in for Netflix. They send you a letter. Oh, today, Netflix, you can see this series. Or you have Paramount Plus, Disney Plus, HBO Max, whatever. They send you a, a email with the information of the new things they did. That is a newsletter. Okay, so uh, let's see for another companies. What do you mean? I think that everything's okay. So guys, let's practice again. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? Pay attention to the intonation, guys. Okay, intonate people, please. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It is a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? 
I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should leave the values that makes us different from other companies, okay? Make it artistic, guys, when you speak. Not because I say it, it's because that's the way English goes. Okay, English is very melodical. Do it, do it like that. So guys, let's practice right now. We are going to work in, let's see how many are we? We are, we are going to work in trios, okay? So one person is Mario, the other person is Teresa and so on. Let me just take the screenshot. Guys, please send it to WhatsApp otra vez cuando lo subo. Give me just a second. There you have the chat, on the chat, the picture. Okay? So guys, vámonos. Let's practice. Questions, guys, before we go. Let's practice five minutes. We are going to practice five minutes.
Okay, guys, we are going to wait for the rest. We are coming now. Okay, guys, let's go right now. Let's see, Maria Jose, can you help me? Can you be Mario? And Victor, can you help me to be Teresa, please? Okay. okay. Let's go, guys. Let's begin. Did you respond newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great idea to remember why we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean, we know innovation, efficiency, and respect should be part of our own customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should like the values that make us different from other companies. Great, guys. Good job. Excellent. I like it. I like the intonation of both of you, so it was good. Be careful with this one, Maria Jose. Receive. This one, we pronounce it receive. receive. Repeat after me. Receive. Receive. Live. 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 Guys, cuando sea el verbo va a ser live. I live in San Salvador. I live in San Martin. We need mm. to live what you believe. Okay, pero okay. si es en vivo, que se, se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente. Ese es live, ok? Ok. Como una peli, un partido, ok? So okay. The soccer match is live on whatever, ok? Live. Good, excellent. Thank you so much, guys. Let's see, next one. I want to listen to, I don't know if, Volunteer. Do we have any volunteer? Raise your hand, your virtual hand. Veamos, ahí veo una manita. So, thank you so much. Marco, you are my first volunteer. And let's see. Uh, well, y mi segundo voluntario, who is? Uh, I... Walter, good. A punto de seleccionar a Walter estaba. So great. Walter, you are Mario and Marco, you are Teresa. Please. Then David will help me. Pero ahorita vámonos. Let's go, guys. Let's go with this one. Did you receive a new letter about the core values of the company? Marco? there yeah i i <laughs> i see that it's mute yeah uh, i did it's a great idea to remember why we are different from the other companies what do you mean i mean we know innovation efficiency and respect should be part of our customer service i see your point we know about the values of the company but maybe we don't apply them exactly we should like the values live. that we should like live live 
Oh, for Malaya, the life. Live. Live. We should leave the values that make us different from other company. Great, guys. Good. Excellent. Uh, thank you so much, people. I like it. Uh, Dennis, be careful with this one. Life. Life cuando es en vivo. Pero cuando sea un verbo, debemos vivir los valores de la compañía. We should live. Okay? Values. Repeat after me, Walter. Values. 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 Va Lius. Values. Great. Excellent. Thank you so much, sir. Let's see. Eh, vámonos. David. Well, David, Mu David Muñoz, please help me. You are Mario. And David Amaya, you are Teresa. Okay. Did you receive a newsletter about the core values of the company? I did. It's a great, it's a great idea to remember why we are a different from other companies. I'm sorry. Stop right there. Repeat after me. I did. It's a great I, idea. Idea. To I did. It's repeat a great. On. Repeat again, please. I did. It's a great idea. 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 Todo. Todo otra vez. I did. I did. It's a great idea to remember my we are different from other companies. What do you mean? I mean we now innovation efficiency and a respect should be part of your customer service. I see your point. We know about the values of the company, but maybe we don't apply them. Exactly. We should, we should leave the values that, that make us the different from other companies. Great. Thank you so much, guys. Good job. Excellent. So the information was good. People, but just remember that you, well, la pronunciación de algunas palabras, que nos puede ayudar, como les digo, guys, practiquen lectura, read paragraph, eso les va a ayudar bastante a mejorar, guys. People, we finished with this one. Let's go to our presentations, right? So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente ahorita. Voy a crear los cuartos. Pero cada quien, digamos, no recuerdo. Por ejemplo, Susana va con Brenda. Entonces, pónganse de acuerdo ahí para meterse en un, un, en un cuartito. Hay bastantes cuartos, guys. Entonces, ahí pónganse de acuerdo. You go, you practice. Remember the presentation for today. Para los que no estaban, and you didn't see the class, yesterday's class. So guys, we are going to give a little presentation. Un minuto y medio. Why learning English is important. Okay? And give me five reasons. Traten de usar lo que aprendimos ayer, los infinitives. Uh, it's important because with English opens a lot of doors and it is easy to get a new job or it is easy to apply for a visa in the United States. No sé. Okay. Whatever you tell me. Traten de agregar información extra. Let's go right now. Pónganse de acuerdo ahí, guys. Díganle, venite, Marco, vámonos a este room. And you go, guys. Okay? So, ahí están los cuartos, guys. Let's go right now. Vámonos. Let's practice. Pónganse de acuerdo, people. Let's practice now.
David Muñoz se fue al cuarto número 8. La, el, la persona que va con David, vaya a ser el cuarto 8. El que va con Marco, al cuarto 5. Guys. Lorena está en el cuarto 2. Susana está en el cuarto 3. People, Víctor está en el cuarto 6. Si usted va con Víctor, vaya a ser el cuarto 6. Cuartos vacíos, guys. Tenemos el 9, tenemos el 4, <risa> tenemos el 1. You can go ahead and practice. Y si no estuvieron ayer, ok, buena pregunta. If you were not yesterday, guys, you can organize the presentation right now. Ok, pueden presentar por qué el inglés es importante. Five reasons, okay? You can go ahead and practice. You can do it alone. Si quieren irse con alguien, ahí pueden irse, guys. You can do it. Ahí tengo todavía. Cuartos, guys. El uno, nadie lo ha ocupado. You can go. El 4 está solo, guys. Marco, ¿qué le pasó? Yeah, in my room, I, I don't see any, <laughs> anyone. <laughs> ¿Se recuerda con quién iba? No, no, it's, uh, in my room, only, only uh, was uh, self. ¿Y su pareja quién era? ¿No se acuerda? And I don't remember. Entonces le toca solo. <laughs> Quizás no vino su pareja ahora. Yes, I, I don't see in the list. So try to organize right now. Ok. Uh, lo voy a mandar ahí un cuarto para que ahí esté. You organize your ideas. Okay. Alejandra, tell me. Ayer no estuvo. Yo no, yo no tengo grupo. You can do it alone. It's ah, a little right. presentation. Tiene que ser un minuto por lo menos. Tell me uh -huh. five reasons why English is important. Okay. You can organize right now your ideas, guys. to apply to some management and finally it's important if we travel to communicate with foreign people hasta ahí lo teníamos entonces sería de agregar una más y dividirnos en las tres Creo que me faltó una parte, ¿verdad, Marlene? De lo de los proveedores. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Dijimos que... No. For, I think. Sometimes o sea, it's required. Ajá, ok. Sí, sometimes sorry. It's a, yes, sometimes it's a request for the apply to some management. For to communicate to provide. Okay. Okay. Quién va primero? Ah, no, hay que agregar la que nos falta. Um, podría ser. Mm. To continue studies in the United States or something? 
yes, puede ser eso. Ok. To communicate with other people in a, in a social media or to meet another um, friends. Maybe two. Okay. Okay. Hay chat solo de, de nosotros, o sea, solo de ahorita. No. Ah, sí. Ok, where is... Ah, Busca, pues, hola. Ok. Ok. Si quieren, decidamos cuál sería el de Blanca para enviárselo eso, porque me voy a tratar si lo escribo todo. Ah, uh, ok. Um... Si quieren, empiezo yo. Digo los dos primeros. And then... Marlene. Ok. And finally, Blanca. Entonces, oh, ok. okay. Entonces, este, yo voy a decir, it's, a, it's a necessary to get better a job and to communicate for foreign people. Um, no, for is, sometimes it's a request to apply. A request, okay. Se puede enviar la de blanco. Okay, and you say it's a universe, universal language. Um, and new opportunities. Okay. Ok. Communicate. Lleva dos M. Do you remember? Hi. Sorry, I turned off the, the microphone. Yes, communicate. Use double M. Okay. Okay, eso sería los los dos últimos.
Si quieren lo practicamos para ver si hacemos el minuto y medio. Ok. Ok. I'm going to see the time. Okay. Why learning English is important? It's important because it's a universal language and it, it helps to find new opportunities or jobs in another country like United States or Canada. Marlene? Okay, okay. Uh, the learn English is very important and necessary because if you want a better job, sorry, if you, no, it's necessary for to get a promotions or get a better job in a global company. Sometimes job have a, 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 request, a request for to apply to someone management for to communicate some provide. Okay, now Blanca. Okay, it's important if we travel to communicate with foreign people and finally it helps to communicate with people in social media and make new friends. Okay. Si vemos uno treinta y seis segundos mi tiempo. Sí, yo pienso que ahí podemos eh, hablar de, de, de algo otra cosa más que se nos vaya a ocurrir en ese momento. Uh -huh. Si quieren lo volvemos a intentar. Okay. While learning English, it's important. It's important because it's a universal language and it helps to find new opportunities or jobs in another country like United States or Canada. Also, we can study a master in um, Europe. Okay. Marlene? Also, it's necessary. Okay. Also, it's necessary for to get a promotion or get a better job in global company. Sometimes job have to request for to apply to someone management because they need to communicate with with provide um, some people to other countries. Okay, Blanca. Okay, it's important if we travel to communicate with foreign people, and finally, it's help to communicate with people and social mates and make new friends and meet new cultures. Okay. Ya le vamos agregando más. Hicimos uno 39. Y es dos minutos. No, uno 30.
let's wait for the rest. Let's wait, guys. Okay, guys, let's go right now. We are going to start with the first person. And this is going to be group number two, Laura, Lorena, Marco, I think. So let's go right now. Yes, let's have our yes. presentation, people. Only thing, Marco is alone. Uh, Marco is alone, okay. So yeah. Laura and Lorena, then Marco, you will be yes. next. So yes. girls, let's go. Laura, let's first. Let's begin. Just give me one second. I'm going to talk about okay. why learn is important in English. <clears throat> I think uh, there are many reasons why the English is important today. Mm, but I think the reason, the first reason is the English is the, the first language, language in the world. Um, uh, usually to use in five, the continental continent, um the, the company uh, you need the people who speak English. Um, the second reason is if you want to travel um, on the world um, because why? Because uh, when you travel, when you travel to the world, you you have um, you need to share your your different needs. Uh, you know different person, and I have a, a lot of questions in different country. Um, I have the information for the country and uh, uh, how many reasons. And third reason, um, if you want to change a better job, um, actually you need to speak English. Um, but is it the important to learn English? My partner Lorena with the Friday. Continuous. Okay, let's continue. It is important to learn to speak English for, for many reasons, right? But I want to, to focus into a specific things from my perspective, right? Number one, 
Um, in my in my point of view, it's necessary when to travel um, because we need uh, interaction with other people, and it feels ugly when someone asks me for a, a question and I don't understand. It, it's very it's very ugly and and this important in this case. Number two. It is also necessary at work for um, it opens the many the many doors to better jobs and opportunities. For example, in my specific case, actually work for a Mexican pharmaceutical laboratories. In this company is expanding uh, to the United States, right? And this is motivating me for um, to learn um, to learn this language in this moment for um, for a better job than I the one actually have right and and I know and I know um, to to learn this this language. Um, will give me a new opportunity for, for promotion, okay? And um, that, that's what I like. Great. Girls, I like it. A lot of information, more than the one minute, 30 second. So good job. I like it. Also, uh, something that was really good, the grammar. Excelente gramática para el nivel que estamos, guys. Girls, it was really good. I really like it. Be careful with something. Cuidado con las palabras que ocupamos. Por ejemplo, actuality job. Uh, my uh, actually job. Not really. It will be my current job. Okay. Ahorita lo pongo en el chat. Si quiero decir mi trabajo actual, guys, va a ser current. Actually significa en realidad. Por cierto, ¿ok? Current de ahorita. My current job. Besides a good job. I like it. Congratulations, Lorena and Laura. You did a great job. Amazing. Marco, your time to shine, my friend. One minute, 30 seconds. Tell me five reasons why English is important. Okay, thank you. Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, for me, uh, one principal reason, one of the principal reason uh, from the uh, to learn English is um, uh, number one. And in my job, in my in my case, for example, in my job, I need to practice or I need to learn the English because my company is a bilingual uh, company uh, uh, because. Um, uh, the, in my company is related to the maintenance aircraft, commercial aircraft, and we have uh, many customers, for example, uh, uh, JetBlue Airlines, uh, Delta, American, United, uh, Copa Airlines, uh, and other, other airlines, uh, important airlines uh, of the world. Uh, other other uh, principal reason for me, an important reason, is because the English is the official language to communicate uh, around the world. For example, the people uh, with, uh, with other nationality, uh, for Chinese, uh, uh, Europeans, uh, uh, Marroquíes, uh, uh, communicate uh, across the, the English language. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I, I have uh, my brother in the United States. My brother was uh, traveled to United to United States uh, 16 years ago. Uh, my brother is uh, speak the English very nice. Um, uh, occasionally, uh, I practice my English with with him and and. I see that important uh, that uh, why that's, uh, that 
that is important to learn English. Uh, my daughter, for example, my daughter is a uh, 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 good level in the, in, good level in the English because uh, because she listened to the music in English and read the English and uh, the, the the level of the English of my daughter is very nice. Uh, uh, when uh, I I was traveled to the United States uh, uh, two years ago, and the the place that that uh, I was very busy uh, visit in 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 this occasion uh, was uh, the 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 company named Flystar in the Jacksonville, the Jacksonville. And all people in this place uh, speak English. Anyone uh, speak Spanish. Uh, for this reason, I I uh, have uh, practice the English every day to communicate my ideas, my my uh, opinions uh, related to the my job. Yes. Uh, it's important that say Florena, for example, it's important uh, practice the English because it's is it's, it's, uh, how uh, uh, it says to Lorena very ugly uh, when you need to communicate with other person that not speak Spanish, yeah, and only speak English, only speak English if you need to speak. In the same language with 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 these people or this person. Yes, I I, I think this. Thank you so much, my little friend. Good job. I'm sorry for the interruption. Is because I want to give the opportunity. Yeah, to yes, I comprehend. I comprehend. But it was really good. I like it. There were a lot of things that you said. Todavía tenemos problemas con el pasado. But later on, ahorita no le pongo atención al pasado. For me. Guys, even you know the past, for me still, it's not that important. Hasta que lo veamos, guys. But please be careful with the simple past. That's something that, yes, you have to do. Besides that, it was good. Uh, guys, dos semanas. Next week, la otra. Vamos a empezar a ver el pasado, guys. Entonces, no es que no los quiera corregir en eso o que no nos importe. Yeah, we will do it later on. So great, it was good. Marco, a lot of information. Me gustó la experience you wanted to say. So that is super good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Let's continue right now with another person, guys. And I want to listen to the group number three. That one was Marlene, Susan, and Blanca. Okay. I don't know if you did it in trio or is it only a couple? Yes. I was in your group and you were participating, all of you. So I think it is a trio. Yes. So let's go. All yours. Ladies. Okay. Uh, while learning English is important. It's important because it's a universal language that is used in North America or Europe. Uh, it helps to find new opportunities or jobs in another country like United States or Canada and it's necessary if we want to study a master in that countries or Europe. Also it's necessary to get a promotion at work or get a better job in a global company. In some job is required to speak English to able to communicate with suppliers and clients from other countries to carry out negotiations or, or even to communicate with co-workers from sister companies in other countries like, like my case because I job in an international 
company, my, my company from um, Japan. Um, it have companies all, uh, around the world and in my job, all the days I want to communicate with, with our co-workers. Um, always in, in, in USA, in Canton. So in my job, in my case, it's, it's, a, it's a request to, to learn English. It's important if we try to communicate with foreign people and finally it's hell to communicate with people in social media and make new friends uh, discover new culture and try to learn many new things thank you that's it okay good excellent yes. Uh, it was good. Actually, uh, Susan, great job. You mentioned a lot of information. I really like it. So that one was good. Excellent. Just the, for the rest, ladies, try to give more information. I don't know whether you were reading or not. It sounds like, yeah. You can read it. That's not a problem as long as you make it uh, more try to make it more how can I tell you natural that's something that you can do okay uh, but besides that it was good so thank you so much great job the three of you ladies so just that excellent So great. Let's go right now with the next person here. I want to go with Ricardo and Walter. I don't know if you prepare guys, are you ready? Ricardo, Walter or Ricardo wasn't yesterday's class. So I don't know if Walter, you did it alone or how was it? O están listos los dos. Ricardo Walter. Ah, uh, hello. Yeah. Yes, we're ready. You're ready. Okay, both yes. of you. Great. Right uh, on. Let's do it. I will. Guys. Okay, I will say three reasons, and then is uh, will say the others reason. Okay, right on. Uh, Good. Okay, uh, why uh, learning English is important? The first one is extensive uh, bibliography in engineering, mathematics, science, and other areas exist more documentation than Spanish uh, because English is the standard language. Uh, for example, the new the newest uh, vaccine experiment will be publish, published in the in a scientific paper and other people can read the experiment and try to duplicate the results. Uh, furthermore, uh, the data sheet, manuals for machine and maintenance books are written in English, uh, even document from China. And the second one is uh, to have a better job. In El Salvador, the best paid uh, job required to speak and write English perfectly. The reason is the major employees every day uh, they talk with foreign customers because uh, the American the American market is the biggest market and there is where and better opportunities and better pay. Here, uh, reason is uh, to meet a new people. English is a main language for most European countries and the second language uh, for all other countries. This gives the possibility to talk to almost people uh, just to meet or do the famous uh, networking and facilities the interaction with people uh, when traveling. 
to to open a new opportunity in your life. Uh, but the biggest company around the January, Medicine and Fancy are in the United States, which allows for a better job and access to better salary. And in addition to the opportunity to like country with higher education. Uh, also, it's necessary to generation. This English is used in different applications because it becomes familiar in daily life of each listener and helps them to improve their vocabulary and fluency on the day. Great, good job guys, excellent. I like it, Ricardo, in your case, it was really good. Uh, I really like all the information you mentioned. So super good job, excellent. I really like it, a lot of details, so really good. Walter, it was good, just a recommendation. Uh, well, probably, no, no, actually you, you stayed in yesterday's class, right? So. Try to practice a little bit more. Más vocabulario, eso le va a ayudar bastante. But anyways, guys, para el nivel que tenemos ahorita, it is good. Okay? I'll take it. You did a great job. Ricardo, you were excellent as well. Actually, you were really, really good. Congratulations, my friend. So, great. People, let's see. Let's continue. Still, we have time. There are some other people missing. Let's go right now with... Maria Jose and Victor. Let's do it. Okay. For us, uh, it's important to learn English for the follower reason. Maria Jose. Naho. Maria Jose, Sorry. are you here? Microphone closed. Sorry. Uh, number one, uh, for reason is to get a better job opportunity uh, because there is a lot of foreign investment in the country that needs bilingual staff. Uh, for example, in my case, in my case, my company work with China with Japan and other country in Europe. The number two is to communicate our ideas with other people in the world because the language is a barrier to communicate with other people. It's very important uh, to communicate uh, with the people for the new job. And number three, to develop our personal skill because speaking English makes us competitive. Okay, the number four, to make more friends because the social, social network opens up the opportunity to know new friends uh, in the world. And number five, uh, to visit our family in other country uh, because the English is a universal language and it's very important uh, for uh, the communicate with other people in this country, for example, USA. That's it. That's it. That's it. Good. Excellent, guys. It was good. You didn't have problems with grammar. Pronunciation was okay. I probably, I wish you could have given more details. Me hubiera gustado que hubieran dado un poquito más de detalles. In some of the reasons, the last reasons, they were okay. 
think it was good. So it was no bad. Don't take me wrong. It was no bad. It was really good. I like it. Thank you so much, guys. Good job. Excellent. Uh, guys, let's continue right now with the other group. Let's go with... I want to listen to Melissa and Wilbur. So guys, let's do it. Wilbur, Melissa, are you ready? Okay, yes. Let's go, guys. Hola, me Hi, Melissa. Hi, dame un segundo. Okay. Okay, listo. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Wilbur, how are you? I am fine, and you? I am tired, my day is very busy. Oh, I see. Sorry. Uh, I am very busy too. I am st studying English. Practice, practice. Oh, excellent. It's very important. Why learning English is important? It's important uh, because I am a manager of a call center. Uh, they are account for the United States. I have to learn to communicate with superiors, superiors because I want to travel, uh, to send emails, to win more money, uh, to write and to send reports. In my case, in my case, it's a request. Re I pardon requirement for to work and other benefits. Oh, I see. Thanks, Melissa. In, in my case, uh, uh, to write and to send report, to send mail, uh, to win more money uh, and other benefits. Thanks. Only that, teacher. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, good job. Excellent. I really like it. A lot of information, the one you mentioned. So it was good. Just be careful with the Spanish. Melissa, don't say things in Spanish. Incluso se equivoca, no diga, ay, perdón. So don't worry. Mistakes happen. So <laughs> okay. uh, it, it was good. I really like it. It was really good. Just try to add more details, guys. Okay. Please try to add more details. And that's basically it. Besides it, it was good. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you a lot. Good job, guys. Excellent, people. So let's go, guys, with the next group. I think it's going to be the last one of tonight. Vamos a continuar con los otros mañana, guys. So let's go with the next one. It is David Muñoz and Michelle. Let's go, guys. Michelle is working. Michelle is working. David, yes. all yours. You can do it. Okay. It's important learning English because to get a, a better job. Uh, for example, open more opportunity of the company in El Salvador and to earn more money. Uh, if you can more, more things, uh, all that, uh, and to speak uh, the universal language. If you is to travel to other countries, be, uh, for example, to communicate for uh, for the people and um, buy things on the store. And the last one, uh, the last one reason to personal motivation. Be, uh, for example, you can learn you can learn other language if you 
uh, the teacher uh, teach in, in English or their language, for example, uh, French, French, no, no French. Sé French and Chinese, another language in the world. That's it. Okay, good, excellent. Thank you so much, my friend. A uh, lot of details, I like it. That's really good. That's really good. You didn't have problems with this one, so super good job on that one, my friend. So, excellent. Uh, besides that, it was good. I like it, guys. I like this one. Para nuestro nivel, it is good, I think. It is good. Esta pregunta es realmente compleja, guys. So, I really like it. Y eso es lo que vamos a estar haciendo. We are going to be practicing this type of questions, guys. So, but later on, when we know about the past and stuff like that, even we are going to have an interview. I'm going to ask you an interview and stuff like that. So those are the things that we will be doing. People, that's all for tonight. Do you have any question? Los que faltan, guys, mañana pasamos the group that is missing and las personas que faltaron ayer mañana vamos a pasar guys okay so people thank you so much for coming have a wonderful night everyone take care guys thank you bye, bye. 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 have a good bye. night everyone bye. see you guys